This video explains how to compare two pandas data frames by their rows in the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we need to create two pandas data frames for the example, as you can see in the second and third code boxes. So in the second code box, I'm creating our first data frame, data1, which contains six rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. And in the third code box, I'm creating another data frame, which is called data2. And this data frame contains seven rows and also the columns x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to check which of these rows are only contained in one of the data frames or which are contained in both data frames. Then we can use the merge function as you can see in the next code box. And in this function, I'm specifying that I want to use the indicator argument and I'm setting this argument to be equal to true. And I'm specifying that I want to use an outer join. And then I'm storing the output of the merge function in another data frame object that I'm calling data12 and I'm printing this data frame below the code box. So as you can see after running these lines of code we have created a merged version of our data frames which contains all the rows that are contained in both of our input data frames. And then we have created another column which is called merge and this column indicates which of the rows have been contained only in the first data frame. So for instance, the first two rows have been contained only in the first data frame, which of the rows have been contained in both data frames, and which of the rows have been contained only in the second input data frame. So this data frame already shows which of the rows were contained in both or in only one of the data frames. However, if we want to extract only those rows that have been contained in only one of the data frames, we can apply the code that you can see in the next code box. So in these lines of code, I'm using the log attribute of our merged data frame to remove all the rows that are unequal to the character string both in the new column merge. So in other words, I'm keeping only those rows that have been contained only in the first data frame or in the second data frame. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.